not he's mentioned in the Quran but not by name. But his name is mentioned in the hadith. Yusha bin Nun alayhi salam. Yusha bin Nun alayhi salam, the companion of Musa alayhi salam. This is him. Okay? So Yusha bin Nun he went out on for an expedition. But he made some conditions before he went out in jihad. He told the people, number one, whoever's gotten married, but they haven't had a chance to consummate the marriage, don't come with me. وَلَا أَحَدٌ بَنَا بُيُوتًا لَمْ يرفع سقوفها. And nobody who's begun building a house but hasn't put a, a roof on the house yet, they shouldn't come either. You know, people who are homeowners, you'll know that home projects, they're never ending. There's always something every single week. And one, once one thing gets done, you think about the next thing. There's a lot of sukoon in renting, right? When you rent, Ilyas, you, you probably feel it now, right? MashaAllah, may Allah give you much barakah in your home, right? But you feel that there's always, you know, something or the other coming up. One thing ends, another thing. It's like a money pit. You keep putting it into the house, right? And your mind and your attention is always there. So much so that if you have a project going on, you can't go anywhere. All the time, right when you get back from work, you're in the house, right? He says a person like this shouldn't come either. Wala ahadu nishtara ghanaman, or a person who's purchased some pregnant animal, oh khalifa.